So the race has just finished, and one thing really stood out to me, if you've not seen the race yet, don't watch this video, close it, because we're going to talk about things that happened in the race. But yeah, one thing really stood out to me, and that was Aaron Gwynn's crash. Whoa! What the, what, what even happened? He was like, go along, happy as Larry, and then just, the bike was like, nah, get off. And Whoa! And just ejected him out the front door, big cartwheels, sealant spraying everywhere. Yeah, that was spectacular. So, I'm gonna go up to the spot he crashed. I think I know what happened. I have seen a very similar crash before. I'm gonna go up, check it out, see if we can figure out what happened, and then we'll go and chat with him. It's down here. It's about 10 turns in. Let's work our way down the track. Right there. So just here is where Gwyn crashed. And the commentators were saying on the live feed, it looked like he hit a hole or something, but there's no holes here. There's a few braking bumps, but nothing bad enough that would spit you off a bike like that. So I've actually seen someone crash here before, back in the day, a guy called Mark Beaumont. It's before they had chicken wire and things on the board. There used to just be a little bit of paint on it that was grippy, but that would come off really quick. And I remember seeing Beaumont brake on this. The tires just washed out and he crashed because of that, because of the braking. But there's chicken wire on it now. It's grippier. I think Gwyn might have done the same thing, but I think he might have just got too close to the edge. And you can see coming along here, riders want to set up on that side of the board to get wide for the turn. Under braking, close to the edge, I think his tires might have just snuck off the edge. And then if that happens, there is a horrendous rock. This is a proper square edge. And I think his back tires just hit that, stopped the bike dead, and he's just gone out the front door. He went so far. Like where he stopped, this is like, it's way down there. He was moving, he was moving at some speed. Massive crash in his race run. Poor man. So let's slow this right down and see if we can see what happens. As he's coming up to the end of the bridge, we can see his fork suddenly compress. Now that must be his front wheel just going off the very last edge of the boardwalk. That impact on his front wheel throws his weight forward, unweighting the back wheel, and then the back end steps off the edge. The back wheel hits that square stone edge and just punctures, sprays sealant everywhere. And then that's the final nail in the coffin that just sends Gwyn off the bike into that monster cartwheel. Whoa! Oh, let's go down and have a talk with him, see if he agrees. I reckon one of the biggest moments we've seen in a long time, to get everyone by surprise, everyone went silent. Do you have any idea what happened? I don't, no, it was a bit of a weird one, dude. Like, I was kind of, uh, I was feeling really good. Like, I hit the first, we weren't that far into the track, 30 yeah. seconds maybe, but... I hit those top couple of turns pretty much perfect and I was like, dude, it's race time, we, let's get it done. Yeah. And uh, I was tucked across that bridge into the corner and I'd, I'm always easy on the brakes on that bridge because it just started raining a couple minutes before my run a little bit and I, those things can get a little slick. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, man, I was same line, same brake, same everything I feel like and all of a sudden I was just flying through the air. So I don't know, I had a rear flat when I got up so I'm wondering if... Um, I wear earplugs when I ride here because of the wind and stuff. So I'm wondering if my tire was going flat and I just didn't hear it when it yeah. when it ripped or whatever. I just got a hole in the sidewall, um, and maybe I got on the brakes in the corner and the rear end like stepped out a little and like slid off the edge of the bridge because you kind of run the, the edge of that thing. But somehow I got sideways in the front end, hooked in a hole, and I just like got ejected. So <laughs> I did the like sky ground and then I hit the ground and then I think I bounced again. And I was like, dude, we're just we're just yard selling it down the track. Sweet. <laughs> mm. I would like to know, but but uh, I, going on the live feed, it looked like someone might know. Was there a guy there filming or something? There was. Yeah, I got <laughs> up and uh, I snapped the whole shifter off of my bike, so I wrapped that thing around the front brake hose, and I was like, dude, we're getting down. Like, <laughs> we've struggled so much this week. Like, I'm finishing this run no matter what. It took me 30 minutes. We're getting down the hill, and yeah. uh, I wanted to wait for, I think Mark was behind me. I didn't want to hold him up, so I was yeah. going to wait for him to go by, and then I realized I had a flat, and I was like, ah, dude, I don't want to, like, crash again with a flat ride and the whole thing. So 
I decided to push out and I asked one of the dudes standing there, I was like, yeah. what happened? And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, anybody get a video? One dude's like, I got a video. <laughs> so I was like, let me see that thing. So we were watching it and uh, I gave him my email so he could email yeah. it to me. So he was super cool. So I, I think, I, think I, I need to find this. I need to get this footage as well. They, hey, those two guys have got the best video of Aaron Gwynn's crash that I've seen. <laughs> so go for them now. Genuinely. 100%. It's good. Hey, he's doing Catherine. Mr. Catherine. Okay. He's got a nice video, apparently. Oh, he's looking for it. It's a Catherine vision. I'm looking for it. I've actually filmed it. It's a hell of a. Oh! Oh! It's a double somersault. That is perfect. FB World Tour. Glad to see you all right. Yeah survived it was a pretty impressive uh, stunt anyway so uh, yeah. hopefully uh, ankles feeling better for next week and you can regroup thank you dude yeah it's been a rough one but um, I'm happy that we're we can fight again next week and that's life sometimes it doesn't always go how you want so we're uh, I'm excited the boys had a pretty decent day and we're just looking cool. to, to build and get better next week hopefully <laughs> thanks man and yeah we'll see you in Leo gang yeah thanks guys cheers <laughs> Whoa! That's what happens when you try and do it by yourself. Oh, there it is. Boom. I was gonna say, dude, you got it aimed way too high up, but it's just because you're like a foot taller. Than <laughs> Yo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>